Feed me. Welcome to another Feed Me More Nutrition Friday Live. I am the big guy Ryback. I am on TikTok, the big guy Ryback22. Hello, all TikTokers, YouTube at Ryback TV, Twitch at Ryback Rules, and Periscope at Ryback. Thank you guys for joining me. Been a very busy week, a lot of really cool things going on, uh, a lot of great things with, with my training and, and developments uh, uh, as far as my shoulder goes. My back is, is all better, just building the strength up to uh, superhuman levels once again, starting to really push myself. Uh, on the safe side still, but uh, major progress. We, we've gotten a lot of getting my shoulder worked on three times a week. And uh, on top of all the softball scar tissue stuff, uh, essentially uh, getting my external and internal range of motion uh, that is blocked by massive amounts of scar tissue. It has to be forced into the range of motion little by little as the softball digs into new spots and breaks that scar tissue up, increasing my range of motion. I wish I had camera crews from the very beginning for all of this. I've put little snippets on, on social media. I've said it from the beginning, nobody's ever going to understand, except for the people that have, have worked with me on this and have seen it. And uh, it's surreal that I'm in the position that I'm in and things are where they're at business-wise, health-wise, life-wise. Very, very, in a very good spot, and I thank all of you. So when the big guy's in a good mood, when the big guy's in a good mood, one, one, he may answer a wrestling question or two, and two, he gives out a cool little uh, deal. And this weekend, for today and tomorrow, the sale ends Saturday, midnight Pacific. This was a huge hit before, a massive hit. We're giving away the Feed Me More Nutrition Hungry gym bag, a $39.99 gym bag, yours free with all orders, $50 and up. All you got to do is have $50 in your cart prior to shipping. Guys, go to the weight belt and apparel section. If this is in the description, we'll be in the comments after the video. Add one gym bag limit, one bag per customer. Add one Feed Me More Nutrition Hungry gym bag to your cart. Use discount code FREEBAG, F-R-E-E-B-A-G, FREEBAG. A $39.99 value bag, yours free, starting now, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Ryback Shopping Network. <laughs> and with that, let's get into some questions. Let's have some conversations. Is Ricky Scurvy here? I don't know if I see him. Good to see all of you guys over on TikTok. We're approaching 800,000 followers in about 14, 15 months. So thank you very much for all of you over there. Thank you to everybody at Ryback TV. We're over 300 and. 5,000 uh, subscribers now. Not that that really helps anything because the videos do worse views than they've ever done uh, because YouTube works with Twitter and Instagram with along with WWE on suppressing the big guy's social media. It is what it is. We just find ways around it, which we've found even more, found even more. So I love these guys because they force me to think outside the box on getting sales. And I keep figuring it out. We're kicking their ass in the trademark deal for Ryback. It is as good as mine. And I own the big guy. I own Feed Me More. We are kicking their ass thoroughly in the trademark suit that's going through the attorney trademark office in which they should probably hire better attorneys because the ones they have are dumb as shit. And I mean that sincerely from the bottom of my heart. And it gives me great joy to back up everything I have said from day one and continue to kick their sorry, pathetic ass with a smile on my face and radiating love and positivity like only the big guy Ryback can. This coffee is decaf, not brought to you by Starbucks. It is a Dunkin' Donuts decaf. Let the questions begin. Health, fitness, nutrition, supplementation, mindset. Let's go. Yeah, conspiracy. They've been blocking me. I've been noticing it since I left in 2016 when they sent me the legal letter saying they wanted everything that I already owned. 
<laughs> so like, I already know this has been going on. It is what people, no one else is going to care. It's not your accounts. I have to care. It's my life. They've done a fantastic job. One that kills me from getting, uh, what's the word? Um, influencer deals because my engagement's too low. So brilliant tactic. Problem is, is I have my own business and I figured out all the other little ways around it that they can't stop, right? So now when I get it all back, it's going to be take negatives and I turn them into positives. It's not bullshit. The feed me more hungry mindset is real. It's as fucking real as it gets. And to beat a multi-billion dollar company every step of the way without having multiple billions of dollars, it's the mindset. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I'm jacked up on life right now. Walter, I'm very happy to hear that. And I, I really would like, to, and, and this isn't selling you like on a, he should, I'm hoping there's something in that taking a supplement like that. You got to give it a little time too. It's not like a miracle thing. And, and it may work quicker, sooner rather than later. I don't know the severity of the issues, but you need to be patient with a lot of these things as well. But I think he's going to notice something fairly in the in the in the coming weeks once he gets on the one, two, three muscle joint tendon formula. It is it is as, as good of a joint formula because it, it, again, it has the tendon and and muscle inflammation uh, supplement ingredients in there as well. So, and along with Narangin, which is a great antioxidant as well. Uh, it looks like we're going to have another Ryback TV food video uh, Monday. I got the video uploaded. Uh, and most likely videos on that are going to be one time a week, probably on Mondays, guys. Especially uh, my diet is very, very honed in right now on my performance meals. And, and again, YouTube's not showing my content. I like doing this sort of stuff. I'm not going out of my way for something that really isn't like I'll, I'll do it once a week for my little meal. And my diet is more important to me right now. And if YouTube was firing away and like, like it was distributing my stuff, I would probably be a little more, maybe, maybe keep it two, maybe three a week, but it's not worth it right now. And in all seriousness, I'm so, I'm so damn busy guys. The, the supplements that I, 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 I'm up in the office, I'm constantly working and doing deals and doing things and figuring things out and looking at numbers and uh, adjusting our marketing. And like I, I, everything goes through me on all of this. So it's my business, it's my company. I've grown it from nothing. So this is the bigger it gets, the more responsibilities, even though I've hired out for things, I still, like a lot of people, like the people mess up too, right? So I have to, uh, and this isn't just like one person. It, it's just the way that it is in business. You know, I constantly got to like kind of keep my finger on the pulse on things or things don't go ideal. And it's, it's my business and I, it's my job to do that. So, Yeah. I mean, not trying to go off topic, but are you friends with Stone Cold? That is going off topic. I mean, that's as random of a question as I think we're going to get on a health and fitness deal. But I, yes, we, I don't, I wouldn't say we are like drinking buddies, even though we've like, we've, I've done his show a couple times. We's, we've, we've had quite probably four or five phone calls and talked a bit and like just shot the shit. And I, I have, I love Steve. And I think he had nothing but, but love and respect towards him. And, and I always felt that was reciprocated, reciprocated, reciprocated on his end as well. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I mean, I, I think I, I, I like the guy a lot. What's not to lie. I mean, he's, uh, I've always gotten along with him. So when are you going to share sales data? Yeah, that's what YouTube is for, pal. And let's just, that's, blocked i'm not even that's such an ignorant question who do you see do that get the fuck out of here man ask dumb questions there's a good chance you get blocked on this channel guys i'm doing well thank you very much 
Yeah, seven months full vegan, uh, Daniel. And my strength, like today, I posted a video squatting. And this wasn't on the regular squat. I'm not regular squatting yet, probably for another week or two. Uh, and I believe this was my third leg workout since I started training again. And uh, was up to this was the first week I started really putting some some more significant weight. And on the on the it was like a hack squat variation of, of a vertical squat where the weight though it, it, it's a very good machine. And I got up to 630 pound for reps uh, on that for my final set. And I only stopped at four. I had I had I think I had eight to ten in me with uh but I as I'm building my strength up, especially with an increased workload, I I keep it at a certain range. Uh, and I did my higher reps prior to that. So I'm feeling really good though. And, uh, as you guys can tell, the energy is not, not an issue. <laughs> I don't really have cheat days per se on the diet. Uh, it's again, when I do a Ryback TV video, off, the eating the vegan food on Ryback TV is so much better than the meat. And like one, two, when you eat like the foods, you don't get weighed down. It, it, it does it the same. And like, so, I, but I'm not doing like the monster cheat meals. I had a restaurant reach out. I actually have had a few, but one in particular recently that wanted me to come in and do like a huge mukbang. And I get asked that a bit. <clears throat> I'm not doing those anymore. You know, I did the Ryback TV the, the when I was still, when I did vegetarian and then I did the cheat meals with the meat and chicken that even that, that's what, and like, I felt like shit when I would do that. Cause I wasn't eating it regularly. So I would really feel those that McDonald's video, the $3,500 McDonald's challenge really, I felt so bad after that and not eating that stuff all the time that I, I just knew. And I go, I got to stop this. This is not, that was it. it was shortly after that, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't much longer. And then I, I learned the foods and I go, I got to apply. I got to really apply myself on this and learn the foods, learn the protein foods. That's my big, I need to know the protein foods. Then I started looking at things and I started learning the micronutrients. And then I got mad at myself for how simple it is and how stupid I was to not look further into things, even though I ate my vegetables and I, I did never eat enough. And it, 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 they're so important. And the protein foods. There's so many protein foods available to us. So. All the, yeah, there's no reason to drink milk anymore with all the cashew milk, almond milks. There's the plant-based butters. All the plant-based alternatives, the ranches, the seasonings, the condiments. Not the seasonings so much, but the condiments. Like that stuff, guys, they taste even better. So I really think we're going to see a massive shift in people. Uh, we already are. It's going to be more and more. And I think I'm so performance-based, and more athletes are going to do this when they see the ball's already rolling. Like, I, I get a lot of emails and comments on, like, people, like, is, are you really vegan? Like, they don't believe, yes. There's like, I, and I had, I think, my life and everything of getting my health back forced me to look at everything, and it took away all the inflammation in my body. I've seen my endurance skyrocket. Along with my strength and my body is improving every week, especially the more and more I've got the range of motion back in my shoulder and being able to lift the weights. It's really a really cool thing. Flex, I love it, my man. We all had the, the I don't own the, the hungry feed me more mindset. I may be the trademark owner of it, but I don't own it, own it. It's everyone's mindset and like it really is. It's gotten me everything in life, and I'm truly blessed with it. And I think if, if we take that and learn to apply it, like, man, I want the best of everything. I want, I want, I want to be hungry in every area of life. This isn't like just like a, a wealth thing. This is this is wealth in every area of life. Why wouldn't you? You want to be a slave to the world? I certainly don't. I get to do what I want during the day. Like I'm living a great life right now, even though I want my my everything that I'm doing to be a million times bigger, and it's going to be. I'm living my a, a dream life right now of freedom. So, post workout, the either you can do the ISO hungry, uh, whether the 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 plant proteins on pre order that that should be done in the next two to three weeks. I was told, and then uh, 
or the Finish It BCAA electrolyte matrix is great for uh, post-workout. Uh, vegan books, Robert Cheeks on uh, Instagram. Uh, I think he's plant-based fitness. Man, there's so much. Once you start following a couple things, you're going to start seeing more recommendations. And you're gonna, it's going to start leading you into things. He has quite a few books. He has another one that's in the top 10 uh, uh, bestsellers here just recently. Uh, so he and he has a lot of books on like the on the foods and the diet. I've just like I can't remember. I got him on my on my Audible and uh, did a couple audio and then started looking on information online and learning the protein foods. Like I said, nutritional yeast, fortified nutritional yeast is awesome with all the B vitamins that you're getting. You don't got to worry about those all day, uh, especially with the amount of that I use as a complete protein. Hemp hearts, ten grams of protein per serving. Chia seeds. I uh, have six grams, but they have very healthy fats and fiber in it as well. Um, and then, you know, obviously just all the foods, you, pea protein, um, there's there's tofu, soy loaded with complete proteins. Don't raise estrogens. Um, and then I'm, I'm, I'm missing something here that I usually, I use, uh, oh, seitan. Seitan is what they use in all the plant-based meats, that and pea proteins. That they use and like those plant-based meats are like low fat. You can get low fat ones that have massive amounts of protein and low low fats in them and uh, low carbs. Like no evil, no evil it has a, a pulled pork and uh, chicken. Uh, they come in little boxes. Well, well worth it. They make hitting your protein requirements so easy. Clean food. Look at the ingredients list. It's not some like mystery you know antibiotic filled factory farmed uh you know surprise this is pure plants and protein and it is it fuels the body far better everyone on tiktok good to see all of you thank you again we're doing a free bag guys the the details are in the description right now and i can get a free feed me more nutrition hungry gym bag until tomorrow night at midnight pacific Tony took the wake up unlimited energy this morning and still have a ton of energy uh, tonight. Yeah, man, it's the real deal. The uh, I take it every single morning before I start my morning work and have my meal. And uh, we have pink lemonade, green uh, apple, and mango candy. And uh, we got a lot of, I got some, I got everything written down on these orders I got to do for new flavors on things. Wake up, we'll be getting a, a fourth flavor as well eventually. Thank you very much, Christopher, for the for the Easter wish, and uh, happy Easter to you and your your family and friends and loved ones as well, my friend. Thank you very much. Easy on those Zevias, Tim. Easy on those Zevias. Six is a bit of Zevias for the day. I actually had a cola Zevia earlier. Cabbage is great. I got cabbage in the refrigerator. I I buy. The produce section on like uh, when I do my, my groceries and I'll leave a few out every week. I'll switch them up, but I have a, a very, I have like cilantro, parsley, kale. I usually go cabbage, red onion, uh, mushrooms. Every once in a while, I'll get the jalapeno peppers, uh, green peppers. Uh, I do radish, uh, beetroots. Um, forgetting something. But I, I mean, I got a bunch in there, and I, I tomatoes. It's uh, it, it, I get, we could do olives sometimes, and uh, just mix and match, and do my performance meals, and uh, and continue to fuel myself. I I feel really really good. Good to see all of you guys. Thank you very much. TikTok, I'm doing well. Thank you very much for asking. Now, this is a real TikTok. We're doing a Feed Me More Nutrition Live. I am the real Ryback, the one and only. Yeah, I don't eat a lot of the lettuce. It doesn't have the nutritional value as a lot of the other uh, vegetables. I'll go kale all day long. Kale is superior. Uh, in every way. So I I think salads aren't bad, though. I do think salad definitely has its place. 
for consuming more food with very, very low calories. Now you got to be careful what you put on there as well. But uh, I do so many vegetables. My meals are so big as they are. I haven't been doing any lettuce. I used to do more salads when I ate more animal products. And I wish, again, it was, I didn't do nearly enough. I wish I would have been eating all the micronutrients I was now all the time. Like every meal, it's a priority. I'm like, why would I not want to consume all these micronutrients and antioxidants that are going to fuel me far more and get all my macronutrients as well? It's the key. That's why you see vegans and the people that are that really adhere to it stay younger, longer. They they and they they don't age at nearly the rate of people that consume massive amounts or, or regular amounts of meat. It's not it's not rocket science. You got to learn the foods. That's I, I got got to learn the foods, and you got to want to do it. I've seen a lot of athletes too. They're like, "Oh, I'm tired. I got to go back to eating meat." It's like, no, Teddy, you're just being a little bitch. You didn't go all the way with it. So maybe take that approach that you took to making it, whatever sport you're in, and like maybe make that with diet because it's the most important thing in the world. Talk to you later. Double uh, Angus, check out the one, two, three muscle joint tendon formula. That is what you're looking for, my friend. Happy Easter to everybody as well, uh, early in advance. You got to get hungry, Brian. You're trying to lose weight, but it's hard to get motivated. You got to take baby steps. You got to have a, you got to have a reason. You can't give up. You got to look in the mirror and you got to you got to say to yourself, I am sick and tired of being a little not saying you're a little bitch, but you got to have that attitude. Like because life, I'm telling you, look at all the people. There's billions of people. Why do so many people suffer on this planet? The one thing we're all physically and again, this is not like talking about people that are missing limbs and but we're all very physically similar. With, with, and there's definitely differences in genetics, and but physically, we're all kind of similar. The thing that, that, that differentiates all of us is our mindset, and it's our approach to life and our ability. Like, so bad stuff happens to everybody. I think we could all, in the longer you're on this planet, the, the more the odds are that bad things are going to happen or what we perceive to be bad things. Now, people that are hungry, that have a, a success oriented mindset, that, that don't give in, the bad things happen and they find a way to shift out of it as quickly as possible, even though they can still get hit with, they can get hit with the depression, they can get hit with not wanting to do anything. They can have moments of weakness, but they shift out of it far quicker than the majority of, of the rest of the world. And that's why they are able to continue on and, and to have success and to find happiness in other areas and turn negatives into positives. We all have that ability. And I'll say there's tears to this. Everybody, though, everybody has bad, and there's some bad shit that's happened to people. And I fully admit, and it, and it's harder. But if you get the mind, you got to do the work. You got to read. You got to, nobody can stop us. We live in a day and age. There is so much positive information out there if we choose to find it. And that's where reading and audio books and things like that. And this is why it's really dangerous what's going on in social media and why I'm not a big advocate of falling into the trap of, of hanging out on those platforms all the time. Push your content out, consume it for entertainment like you would like a TV show, have some rules on this, and get the fuck off it. Because what's happening is people are wasting their entire days on it and not getting shit done in their lives. It's increasing depression. you got more people and kids and adults going on antidepressant medications that don't need to be on them. And like, again, it's reading the success books. Man, you guys could read every fucking success book in the world. If you don't actually stop and take that mindset and apply it to what we are doing, it is useless information. I've seen people like that. They go to all the seminars and I'm like, Sandy, why didn't you spend that weekend working on what you're trying to do? Because you haven't started yet. So what is that Tony Robbins fucking conference going to do? Is that just going to motivate you into the next book to distract yourself from doing the work? Or are you going to like hop on the ball? And like, so there's levels to this. You got to be able to get the information and then put it to fucking work. That 10 X Grant Cardone fucking work ethic. You got to fucking do it. 
mindset. So you got to get motivated to put a bow on it. If you want to do uh, apple cider vinegar, the liquid, yeah, you could definitely, uh, I always would, you could do a straight shot. I always mixed it with water and, and put a little water in and, and, and chugged it. Uh, but I would definitely drink a little bit of water with it regardless. Uh, good question here. Uh, Movie Air asked, my goal is to have multiple streams of revenue in the future. As someone who has succeeded in that, what's the best advice you can give to someone to achieve that? Great question. Pick the one thing that is going to bring you the quick, the revenue the quickest and the most revenue and start making you money right away and go all in on that. And when that is 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 running and bringing in revenue, now you are able to then focus on maybe one of the other ones. I've done things where I've done them all, but Feed Me More Nutrition was always number one. I was doing, I had podcast revenue. I had social media online advertising revenue on that. I had book revenue for quite a long time, which is that has gone down. But there's in like on top of wrestling revenue and uh, uh, investing revenue, I had real estate revenue for a bit. Like you got to uh, like, but Feed Me More Nutrition was number one. And that was always what I put the most energy and effort in because that was what was making me one the most money and making me money at all hours of the day constantly. And investing's doing that too, but this more so I have control over, right? So I say pick the thing that's going to allow you to start making that revenue right away. And then as that is, is going, start looking at the other areas or just make sure that one thing you spend the majority of your time on. That would be my advice. Earl, thank you very much. Again, it depends on your goals, Earl. Uh, all the products on feedmemore.com on the shop now or the individual product pages have the write-ups of the products and the descriptions and the benefits uh, of what they can offer. It, it, we have 12 different supplements and multiple flavors on a few. So I don't know, again, you know, it, it, I don't know if you're sensitive to stimulants or not. If you want more energy, the wake up unlimited energy. The pump plex city is a non-stim, uh, can be used as a pre-workout or intro workout pump formula. On that, I think protein powders are always a must to have for people, especially that are trying to build muscle. I think supplementing with protein along with your diet is a great way to hit your protein requirements uh, and your goals on that. The finish at BCAA is great for recovery. The Shell Shock Extreme Fat Burner is our number one bestseller. All natural, great way to lose uh, body fat when your diet and, and, and workout and activity levels are in place on that. But I think just start with simple and is you, you got to have some clear defined goals. And then you can look at the products and say, I think that can help me. You know, if you have bad knees, I'd say the one, two, three muscle joint tendon formula is going to be somewhere to something to, to, to start. If you have trouble sleeping, the GTS go to sleep, sleep aid. It, it, it just depends. If you feel like you, you have low libido, your testosterone levels are low. The, the big guy, natural testosterone and libido booster blood test proven. That's the real deal. That's up there with our best sellers. It does really well on Amazon actually on that. So uh, that would be something to check out that can help you with building muscle. And it's great. I've not had one guy complain about it yet. So, everyone from TikTok, thank you very much. I love you guys too. Yeah, the alkaline water. We have the company out here, Real Water. I know they sell the alkaline machines. I don't know. You know, I have a really good reverse osmosis system that I, I've been very happy with that I drink the majority of my water from. Uh, I don't drink tap water. I have before, but not not a lot. You know, I had, I would bring on the road with wrestling. I had these, the, are they Oka? Daniel Bryan turned me on to them many, many years ago. They're the, like NASA, NASA level filtered water bottles and bought a bunch on Amazon. I got them everywhere in my house. I got them upstairs and I fill them up with tap water and I, I drink them so that I don't have to have bottles of water going down to the filtered water. And it, it, it's 
I use those like when I'm because my house is fairly large, so that I don't know constantly when I'm working I have to keep coming down. But uh, I don't know about the alkaline. I, I don't. I don't think it's bad. I think it's definitely better than than tap water for sure. I don't know. You know, with the price of the alkaline, those things are like six, seven, eight thousand dollars. Like I don't know if they warrant that cost. I don't know. I've looked at them. I've seen the information. I mean, they do a hell of a job at selling them. But I, I just don't, I don't I don't know. I've drank the real waters. I had a fridge. I used to got had to deal with them for a bit. They were giving me as many as I wanted. And, and again, I don't know what what I would notice off of it. But it's water, so I, I don't know. No, I did not uh, the meat cravings because the seasoning. The, the I didn't get the cravings because it's not necessarily the meat and the chicken. It's the flavors and the seasoning which you could do all of that with vegan foods. It's, you'd be shocked. I There's a place in Vegas called The Modern Vegan. Highly recommend anybody that ever comes to Las Vegas to check them out. They're near the Strip. My friend Gia uh, runs that. and She also uh, owns uh, this taco uh, dive bar uh, that's opening up uh, this weekend as well. I'm pretty sure I botched the name of that. Taco. Maybe it is Taco Dive Bar. The uh, But it's... Uh, their food it was just absolutely amazing. Uh, best exercise for calves. I just did calves today with legs. Uh, I used to do them twice a week. I stopped and went down to once a week. And I do. I did 15 sets today. I do a seated movement and a, a straight-legged movement. And today was donkey calf raises for eight sets and seven sets of seated calf raises. I also, I alternate um, the stance of my feet from straight and then toes in and toes out. Uh, every set, I go back and forth on all those until I'm done. And, and they, they kind of target the different areas of the calf. But also squeezing the muscle, uh, which I'll do three-second squeezes on, on different uh, sets and reps and, uh, and really work on, on feeling the muscle work uh, the mind muscle connection is a very real thing like the you, you like there's levels to this you know how hard can you squeeze on each rep uh with whatever you're working out and recruit the muscles like that these are ways that you can increase your intensity that a lot of everyday you know people that go to the gym may not be aware of they're just in there kind of going through the motions i see a lot of people training far lighter than they probably should be and it's just kind of because there a lot of people will be like, oh, I don't want to get massively big. You're not necessarily going to get massively big if you're not if you don't have the genetics and you're not consuming the calories. But what you might not be doing is stimulating the muscle enough to even make a difference. Which, if that's your goal, that's great. But oftentimes, my thing is, if you're going in there, you want to get the results, right? Uh, thank you for the super sticker, Hunito Twenty One. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Walter, I would uh I wanted to ask the testosterone. I'm 34 and seem like I'm getting more than I lose gaining more than I lose. Don't have the energy I used to. Does the testosterone booster help to get back to how you were? Yeah, so what you need, here's my recommendation on this. Like until you got to know our numbers on this stuff. And it, 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 our health is our number one priority. It needs to be, right? You got to. I really believe we ha we have to uh, embrace that mindset. And if you don't, that's fine. It's it's helped me in every way possible. It helps me make good decisions more often than not. So if you feel that you're at that age and it's showing men's men in their twenties, there's teenagers now with low testosterone. Like there's stuff going on that we've never seen before, and a lot of it's being attributed to the meat industry and the hormones and a lot of the things that are going into the animals. There's a lot of connections with all this. They'll tell you, no, there's not, there's a reason this has never happened before and it's happening now. So men, <clears throat> their, their testosterone levels are getting all thrown off for guys that haven't even done steroids before, right? 
So you need to go get blood work from your doctor. You need to either go to a board certified endocrinologist or your primary care physician, which they're probably going to then have you go to a, with somebody in your network for your insurance, go to that or go to one of the testosterone clinics. If, if you don't have insurance, you just want to pay out of pocket. They'll do blood work on the necessary, the total testosterone, free testosterone, estrogen, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone. They're going to, they'll, they'll test for these things. And then you're going to know where you're at and you're going to see if you're in the normal ranges and any good doctor, usually once you start at like 315 or around that area, 315 or 330 is like the cutoff for where you enter the low ranges, whatever that number is. Usually if you're remotely close to that and you're feeling symptoms of low testosterone, which you, which you are based off what you're saying there, they're more than likely going to put you on a, a testosterone replacement therapy program, which isn't like... People like think, oh my God, you're doing steroids. It's that's a medicine that was intended to always be a medicine to keep you in the normal ranges, like you would for any other thing in your body that needed to be brought up that was down. And it's unhealthier to have low testosterone than it is to, to have high. But with the big guy testosterone booster, as long as you don't have primary hypogonadism, it's been shown, and we have people with 200 and 300 point increases on it. So the, what I'm getting at is you got to go get tested. You need to know your your starting point, and then you can run the big guy testosterone booster. And I'd say eight, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, the final week of it, go get that same lab work done, and your numbers are going to come back higher, I promise you. I guarantee you on it. And it's in you're gonna you're gonna feel better with that. And you're gonna know, you're gonna know relatively quickly in a matter of weeks. And I get emails all the time with guys saying, Your supplements have changed my life, your diet tips or your tips on this on your pistachios on this have, have been a real game changer. It's like, it's not bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit out there. There's a lot of lies out there. This is not that. And I, there's, and I, I, anybody could tell me that and I'll go, great, go get lab work done, do it. And then let's have a conversation. Let's look at the numbers and let's have a conversation. Cause I've seen the numbers of the people doing it myself included, which is why I came out with the product like everything else. So, uh, yeah, I think that really, really can help you. And then I would say the, the big guy and the wake up unlimited energy would be a good stack. The the wake up to give you energy to get going uh, until till the testosterone production kicks up a little bit. But go get lab work, man. Go get lab work, please. I would describe my diet my diet as vegan. My diet is vegan. High protein vegan. Uh, you want to grow your beard again? That's like a lot. Beards are are very genetic as well, and I feel like my beard has gotten better as I've gotten older. And um, you know, DHT is something that, but with that, with uh, you know, but again, you don't you don't experiment with like hormones and like. Uh, DHEA, you know, 25 milligrams a day of that. Again, this is all going through like your doctor and, and getting lab work done and things because increasing your DHT uh, to abnormal levels can increase hair loss and things of that nature as well. So, but a lot of it's genetic. But if you do increase your, if you like someone that has low testosterone, you're, you could have your, your facial hair and things like those those manly characteristics could be lower or less. You know what I'm saying? So it is excellent though I would have a discussion with your doctor about. Or you or do the, the big guy testosterone booster and, and see after a few months if you've noticed a difference on that. And if you feel better and you love the product, great. But I don't know. I can't I, I don't know as far as beard quality what that is going to deliver for you. because it, it's it's a broad question and there's a lot of different factors in that. And genetics are really, really, like, play such a huge role in that. I shave my head every other day by choice. I can grow my hair all out still. I just, I like, I like the bald look.
Uh, yeah, as long as you, if you want to, the wake up unlimited energy would be a good uh, pre workout energy formula that has the, the caffeine in it. Yo, him buying an Asian ginseng, and they hit at different levels on that. Um, and it stacks really well with the brain feed with the teacrine and it enhances that works in a different way of, of caffeine for energy, but it increases the effects of caffeine. Um, and I would just make sure this goes to everybody. When you take your vitamins, take your vitamins. If you're taking oral vitamins, separate your caffeine consumption 60 to 90 minutes away from that. I made a huge mistake for quite a while and I couldn't understand when I went first started doing vegetarian, my energy levels crashed because I was consuming all my vitamins in the morning uh, with my wake up unlimited energy, um, which has the high amount of caffeine, which blocks the absorption of iron and B12 and the B vitamins and things which are crucial for energy production. So little tip. I uh, just got an image. We have the Feed Me More Nutrition wrist straps, workout straps, I believe, have just been completed or being shipped out. I just got the notification because I know she said they were going to be finished by the end of the week. So um, those should be getting coming in in the next week, probably to 10 days, and added to the website as well. And I'll be putting together some cool like gym bag bundles with that and the weight straps, the lifting straps, and uh, the workout gloves and the workout towels. We're going to be put, we're going to have a lot more stuff. We've got tank tops. We have the black shakers eventually coming. Going to be doing a lot of accessories as well and different things because one, it allows me to do cool little giveaways like this too. And uh, and as we continue to scale and expand the line, this is going to be another big year of growth uh, with everything. So, Ooh, that's taking a hell of a risk stopping caffeine to switch it with marijuana edibles for to go work out. I would, uh, I would not be able to do that. I, but I've seen people that do it. So I, I clearly, and I invest in the marijuana sector. I'm a big believer. <clears throat> it's going to be like, it's, it's, it's alcohol 2.0 in a whole different way. I think it's much bigger than alcohol or, or it has the potential to be much bigger long-term uh, than alcohol. So I'm, I'm very uh, positive. I'm very bullish on the sector uh, just for the future of the world with where we're going in the world. Um, but I, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Do we have a good question on TikTok? The difference between the wake up unlimited energy and the pump plex city is the wake up unlimited energy that has a pump formula in it as well with the citrulline and two different uh, uh, arginines with it as well. But that so that is a pre workout pump formula. The Pumplex City is a non-stim pump formula pre-workout with that. And that has a higher dosage, six grams of citrulline in it. Uh, and that we're actually coming out with a great flavor as well, too, here in the upcoming months. That's getting ready to get put in finally with everything. The uh, But that one is for people that like don't want all the energy as far as, but there's beta alanine in it as well. It's going to help increase exercise aerobic and anaerobic uh, output. So you're going to notice the effects from it is when you're working out in the pump for sure with that, but it's not going to get you, give you that more energy feeling because it doesn't have that stuff in it. I'm actually going to be trading in my vehicle soon um, and going to full electric. I think I'm going to probably, I've already got the Tesla cyber truck, the tri-motor cyber truck. I put my reservation in on that. And uh, I think I'm going to first go get the Tesla Model 3 and trade my vehicles in. And then I'll wait for the Cybertruck supposed to be out end of the year, early next year for, for getting production filled for the customers that reserve them. Um, so I think I'm going to get the Tesla Model 3 first and then and uh, and then get the, the Cybertruck so that I have my two vehicles and uh, go full electric. Oh, trust me, buddy. I have my goal board upstairs. The vegan restaurant is on on a on, on a goal board upstairs. I have I have a lot of different things that's down the road. I'm very bullish on the vegan industry. I think we're gonna continue to see um, more and more people and athletes 
and the more high profile, a lot of high profile names in general are going vegan. And I highly recommend everybody watch uh, Cowspiracy and Seaspiracy as well. I This isn't like, I don't get anything from this. My supplements were vegan friendly from the beginning, the majority of them, because I just did that to be able to sell to everybody. Why would, as a business owner, I want everybody to be able to use my products. And then I just, when I finally went vegan, and then I've learned what about the factory farming and the dairy industry, that's why we're discontinuing the whey proteins. We're going to the the, um, the plant-powered iso-hungries. The caramel cookies coming out. They taste just like whey. I think we're going to have the best plant proteins on the market by a long shot. And uh, we got a chocolate and peanut butter that's already approved. That will be coming out once we get the caramel cookie out. So, <clears throat> The biggest mindset change I've had since 18 is... It's again just the positive thinking, the law of attraction, and but um, I've always worked really, really hard, and I think too, um, trying not to overthink things and letting just let your body running, man, and and do the work, have the confidence, and just let things happen as they will. I think a lot of times people overthink uh, a lot of things, um, but the positive mindset has allowed me to shift in, out of negatives very quickly and overcome things uh, that that I feel. If I didn't have that mindset, would have been the end of me as far as having the, the quality of life that I'm having. So, I do think more. Yes, so I think you're going to see the fast food uh, industry is. I think, I think, in from in the next three to five years, we're going to see a lot more vegan options. I think we're going to start seeing portions of the menu taking up regular menu space as vegan options. Because what's going to happen is, and I don't think it's happened yet, but what's happening is, is the more and more people that convert to going vegan, you're going to have the people that do it right and learn from, then you're going to have the people that do the fast food vegan stuff, right? And even that is better than than fast food non-vegan. So at least it's a step up on that, but they're going, <clears throat> I believe you're going to see the demand start to come down. And so the McDonald's and the, and the Burger Kings and the Wendy's and the Kentucky Fried Chickens, once they start seeing their revenue dropping, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to look at the numbers. They're going to go, well, why are our burger sales or our chicken sales dropping, Ted? And Ted's going to run the numbers with his little glasses on. He's going to go, well, geez, Billy, there's a lot of vegans out there now. They want the vegan options. That's what we're seeing in our data. And then Ted... Ted's going to fucking go, well, the fucking people want vegan. Let's give them vegan. And then, then, then you got the vegan Big Macs. You're going to have the vegan chicken sandwiches. You're going to, you're going to have, you're going to have Ronald McDonald in, in the drive through lines with cucumbers and celery outfits with them, with the kids. They're going to replace the hamburger with the celery stock, man, at the little playground. Watch. You think it's crazy. They don't give a shit about any of it. All they care about is their bottom line, their revenue. So they're going to find a way to keep that revenue coming. Mark my words. So going vegan is the best thing you can do, and you're going to see more options on their menus, which I think is great. It's better than what we're, we're doing to the animals. And we're too many people on the planet to sustain meat eating at the, what we're doing. I think meat will always be around. I think it's going to become stems. It's already being grown via stem cells. But I think that will be the future of meat, chicken, and fish. And I think that we will see a drastic decrease uh, in the torturing and slaughtering of animals and, and, and breeding, overbreeding of animals to fulfill this uh, meat-hungry uh, world that we have, we have designed and built uh, for profit only. That's causing massive global issues, my opinion. All right, guys. Anyways, tonight, guys, I got to get up. I got to go take the dogs out here uh, for their little nightly walk. Free Feed Me More Nutrition gym bags. The Hungry $39.99 gym bag, guys. Free with orders $50 and up prior to shipping. Just go in. Make sure you got $50 in your cart. Select a gym bag under weight belts and apparel. Use discount code free bag at checkout. And the bag is yours for your $39.99 value, guys. With that, 
Have a great weekend. This sale ends Saturday at midnight Pacific. Have a very happy Easter. I have, We're having a vegan uh, Easter here with all the stuff, with a vegan ham and a bunch of other green bean casserole. And, uh, and probably we have vegan mashed potatoes and gravy. And uh, you use almond milk and cashew milk and do all that good stuff. And uh, you don't even know the difference. So I'm looking forward to that and having a big meal. And I will see you guys again next week. Have a good one. Be good. Stay hungry, my friends. Feed me more.